Welcome back to The Haunted Beard, everybody. Thank you for joining me. Today, I want to give you my review for the film Monolith. This is coming out of Australia. It's a sci-fi mystery thriller starring Lily Sullivan, who you may know from uh, last year's Evil Dead Rise. I've got some thoughts about it. Let's get into it. Monolith tells the story of a headstrong journalist whose investigative podcast uncovers a strange artifact, an alien conspiracy, and the lies at the heart of her own story. And Monolith is more specifically a conspiracy theory paranoia type thriller. And I'll just say, I dug it. I had a really good time with Monolith overall. This is a low budget film. The budget's reported at like $640,000. It all takes place basically in one location and only has the one actor, Lily Sullivan, in it. And she carries this entire thing and does a really solid job. Um, and she obviously plays the main character, who is this disgraced journalist who lost her job because she wrote a story without checking her sources. And so now she is working for this company that does a podcast called Beyond Believable that investigates mysteries and paranormal type stories. And so she is looking for a story to issue her very first podcast episode. She receives an anonymous email one day. From this woman and she gets in contact with her and it starts off this wild and crazy conspiracy theory type story. Now I'll just say I'm not really much of a conspiracy theory person at all in real life but I do find them entertaining and often enjoy movies with conspiracy theory type elements to it and it's just a wild ride and as I said she is the only actor in the entire film at least that you see anyway Everything else is done just via phone call, and that's it. And this is such an interesting type of a movie in the way it's presented because oftentimes kind of the typical rule of thumb for screenwriting is show, don't tell. Well, Monolith is really the exact opposite of that. It shows very, very little, and it tells everything because it has to because all the information that we get is just from the people that she speaks with on the phone. And man, I found that type of presentation absolutely captivating as in order to be able to pull off this type of presentation, the script and the story and the mystery have got to be on point. And they were. And I was just along for the ride every step of the way. This thing hooked me in very early and I was just on board. There's never really a dull moment. And the mystery, I think it just executes very, very well. I love the investigative aspect of it. I love trying to just put the puzzle together as really the conspiracy that she uncovers involves this black brick. And she's trying to figure out why are people getting these bricks? How are they getting them? Why are they causing people to act strange and, and just sort of behave in a weird way? And man, I just got caught right up into it. The movie just executes the paranoid vibe really well. It gets you to buy into it. And there's a line said by a character somewhere in the middle of the movie where they are asking her about her investigation, what she's uncovering. And they say, do you really believe this or do you just want to believe it? And I just, I like that question because I think it gets at the heart of the vast majority of the conspiracy theories that are out there. And I just like that it kind of gets into a little bit of the conspiracy theory mindset and how it's so easy to kind of get on board with some of those things and just get wrapped up and caught up in the mystery because it's like you you just want it to be true so bad. And, and I was kind of sitting back at a point in the movie where I was like, do I really believe all this or do I just want to believe it? Because I really wanted to believe it. And and that's when I knew like, yeah, the movie is, it's I'm really connecting with it. That's when I knew it's like the movie is really working and I just had a really good time with it. I did have one issue with the movie and it involves a reveal that occurs a little over an hour into it. And I won't get into specifics or anything. I don't want to get into spoilers at all. But I just thought that the reveal that we get, it stretched believability a little much. And I know that might sound weird to say, given that this is a film about a possible alien artifact and a wild conspiracy theory and all that stuff. But 
Uh, just in terms of how they executed that reveal, it, it was just a bit of a stretch. I feel like um, Lily Sullivan's character would have or should have remembered something, and that's all I'll say about that. And even though I had a bit of an issue with the reveal, I do like what direction they took the story in after that reveal. I like kind of how they executed the rest of the film uh, on, from that point afterward. I thought that the conclusion and the ending was pretty satisfying, and I, I liked the overall direction that they took the story. Overall, I definitely think Monolith is worth your time if you like sci-fi mystery thrillers with the paranoia and the conspiracy theory stuff. If those are your kind of vibes, you're definitely going to get something out of Monolith. I think it's well worth your time. For me personally, I'm going to give this, I'm like kind of right between a seven and a half, maybe even an eight out of 10. So really liked it, had a solid time with it. I can't wait to see uh, what these filmmakers do next. Definitely on my radar now, looking forward to seeing what they bring next. So that's all I got for you. Hit me up down below if you've seen this. Let me know your thoughts. Would love to hear from you. That's all I got. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time on The Haunted Beard.